go by his statement, sir, his version says that he had no option was given, that this was Well, I am afraid yeah. if you look at his second statement which he made on the sidelines of a conference in Montreal which the AFP has released yesterday, that second statement says, I am not aware that any pressure was brought by Government of India for this company. Only Dassault can tell you. The partners had selected themselves. The French government was not involved. But that's correct. Neither is the Indian government involved. The French government has said we are also not involved. Mm. It's for the supplier that is Dassault to select the partner. And they have selected not one, but they have selected a dozen odd partners. And therefore, in his second statement, he says, I am not aware of any pressure which was brought on us or any suggestion was made. Only the. So, in the second statement, he contradicts the core of his first statement. Why was the first statement, which is inaccurate, which has been denied by the French government, which has been denied by the Dassault, which has been denied by the Indian government, what was the need to make that statement? The only need I can think is he himself is under criticism from some quarters in France. I am not saying there is a conflict of interest for an alleged con for conflict of interest. The journalist who interviewed him said, we are investigating that part. Mm. And therefore, it's very easy to get somebody off your back and said, well, I didn't do this. Somebody else must have suggested it. And therefore, in this context, this interview must be understood. And when the same gentleman within a period of 24 hours gives two versions, one version is we had no option. The second version is I am not aware if any ask pressure Dassault. was brought. Go and ask Dassault. The partners selected themselves. Mm. Obviously, truth never has two versions. Now, out of these two statements, the Congress is going to believe the earlier one, where he well, said we have no option. Can, the Congress can believe anything. Men can believe anything. But you must remember a basic principle of conduct, which for centuries has ruled throughout the world, which is men may state inaccurate facts. Circumstances never lie. And what are the circumstances? In 2012, the UPA government had selected the same Rafale from Dassault. Before the minister could sign it, they decided to abandon it. Hmm. At that stage, there are two reliances in the country today. Sure. One of the reliances entered into an MOU. 2012. In 2012, February, hmm. with Rafale, for Rafale with Dassault. Correct. Was it a scandal? Obviously not. Because anyone would say, if you are going to manufacture in India, or if you are, I would like to be the offset contractor, or I would like to be some supplier. Many Indian businesses in the public sector, private sector would be. It's not a crime for a private sector or a public sector or any company to be a, a party to that contract. Now, when they came back in 2014, the 2012 reliance was no longer in defense. The other reliance was in defense. So this time they showed interest. So there has been a background to this and then they are not interested in manufacture of Rafale aircrafts because none is going to be manufactured under the 2016 contract in India. Ready-made aircrafts are going to come in, they are only going to be offset suppliers. And the whole thrust of the argument and I pity Rahul Gandhi's understanding, how is it a scandal if a dozen Indian companies in the private sector and the public sector say mm. that for a 56,000 crore contract, if the Offsets are going to be 28,000. I want to be one of the 20 people who are going to make the offset supplies. Right. So everyone will get 2,000 and 4,000 and 1,000 crores worth. So how is it an impropriety?